What's good, YouTube? Leak Auto Repair. So yesterday I put up a post in the community section, and if I get this uh, camera to focus, I got like the Note 10. It's like right after I got the Note 10, they want to get ready for like the Note 20. It is what it is. I still like this phone regardless with the 15 million cameras they put in the back of this. So check engine light came on. Uh, the code was P0322. And, you know, at the time it came on, I was at the crib and I didn't even have like, you know, tools with me. I only had like a power probe and my code reader. So now I'm at work and I guess I'm just going to um, continue off of the video that I'm already trying to start or probably just do a whole nother video. But whatever. 2001. Uh, Volkswagen Jetta, this is my car, 1.8 engine and turbo, and the check engine light, let me repeat it again, P0322, and that's for the uh, engine speed, uh, basically stating that there's no signal. Uh, symptoms I'm having with this car uh, is when uh, sometimes I get like a extended long crank, like I'll try to mess with it right now. Uh, the EPC light would be over there. I'll show a picture of it in a second. I, I was able to take a picture, so I'm going to start it. The EP light, EPC light will stay on. But that's after it'll crank long, and then eventually when it starts up, the EPC light, it stays on. Then you shut it off, and then it'll keep doing longer cranks after that pretty much. So when it get longer cranks or whatever, I still get uh, the, the tachometer still works. I still get uh, RPM signal pretty much. But uh, at first when uh, when, it give me, when I'm getting long cranks, yeah, of course, uh, I'm, when I check the scan, so it looks like that I'm not getting any uh, uh, engine speed, no, no signal from the engine speed sensor, a.k.a. crankshaft position sensor. Um, uh, another thing, uh, this seems kind of like temperamental, meaning that when I, let me open up this door, meaning that when I, when the engine is cold like this, it's fine, but when it warms up and it gets to regular operating temperatures, that's when the temperatures start acting stupid, so we consider this like an intermittent fault. So let me go, y'all, show y'all where the, uh, sensor is, uh, located at. So in the video, I did show y'all uh, where the sensor is located, but I had to do like another take all over again. So for those who didn't probably watch that part, but it is this connector right here. That's, it has a bracket that it rests in between um, right under the uh, intake manifold. So sometimes you, got, you might gotta like, like get all up in it to see what I'm talking about. But here's the connector. I left it out here where it can be accessible. And um, I'm gonna do just, they wanna check for pretty much resistance. Uh, so when you get these uh, camera crank sensors and it, sometimes that's all you really can do if you don't have a scope then your best bet is just use like a uh, just uh, you want to own it like I said um, you could get away like I did with if you want to I use my test you use a test light or a power probe and you can pretty much just check the integrity of the signal circuit and just to see if you see some type of action you're not getting anything any other information that that tell you that the sensor is wrong only thing that tell you just some type of integrity of the signal circuit let you know with this action going on and then you can also test for ground because this is three wire sensor so what I'm gonna do is right now I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna shut the car I'm gonna unplug it while the engine is still cold I'm gonna check for resistance and when a car get warmed up and when I do get it to shut off I'm gonna go back out again and I want to check for resistance again all right so here's the connector over here I had kind of pushed it over to the side so that way it can sit up and I ain't gotta hold it with my two hands because I gotta probe it with these leads. Uh, the connector for it is on uh, the harness side is right here. We're not worrying about that part since the type of sensor we have, we're worrying about resistance only because that's what it calls for when we're testing. So you can see right there, here's the meter. And let me move it. You should be able to see it right there. And I'm going to touch uh, pins two and three. Uh, this is circuits we, uh, we're checking. Uh, your connector should be gray, and uh, on the engine harness side of it, it should label one, two, three, uh, what pins is which or whatever, and make sure you got your colors down pat. And then for uh, the other side that goes on the, the block side, it has, and you look inside of the connector, you can also see that it's labeled one, two, three. So we're testing two and three, so just probe what I just said and if I can get this meter just to sit right without moving and, and I got it in resistance already I mean uh, I don't know why I said resistance checking resistance but I got it in the ohm feature and if I can get it to lead to get on it and we're looking at about uh, 0.9 uh, resistance got the K killer ohms or whatever you want to call it it is what it is 
uh, the value for it, the specified value from uh, Volkswagen, and this is not from uh, all data, but Volkswagen says it has to be between 0.7 to 1,000 kilo ohms. Uh, this one is at 0.9, so it's just a little bit over. It is within specified value. So I guess for right now, what I'm going to do is let this uh, engine run. I want to connect this back up again. I want to let it run, and I'm going to wait till the sensor get hot. And when the sensor get hot, hopefully there's some type of open in it or something. I don't know. I got to wait for it to get hot. So that's what I want to do. Got my little cold reader hooked up. I'm waiting for the uh, engine temperature to go up. Uh, is at 199 I'm trying to get it to go up a little bit more and, and up to the point where the cooling fans can kick on all crank sensors don't fail the same some crank sensors are temperamental it, it, it's, it all falls down on temperature and the condition of the sensor it could be wiring could be the oil debris could be all anything it, it could be a lot of stuff that go wrong with this but me right now the only thing I can do right now is I gotta, re, I gotta duplicate the issue again so that way i could test the sensor and you know just to be sure now i already know for a fact it's a crane shaft position position the sensor i don't have to like go the extra mile but i am going the extra mile i didn't even wait for the car to stall so i'm just going in and check the sensor since the engine is already at the temp that is supposed to be normal operating temperature about roundabout right and so let me set this up right here so we can see i think we can see right and just gonna probe two and three again. All right, so look like I'm at 1.1. Specified value was 0.7 to 1,000 kilo ohms, and it looks like I'm a little bit over the specified value, and we can consider at a faulty. Um, crankshaft positioning sensor but I want to check it again for GP but it's looked like I guess since the engine temperature uh, I got the car shut off I bet you that it's probably resistance is probably dropped and I bet you when I warm it up some the resistant I let the car run more to the point where the sensor start acting stupid I bet you the resistance is going to be higher so that's probably what I'm gonna do next just to throw the icing on the cake when you doing um, crank cam sensors crank sensors three wire sensors well, this is a three wire. We would do it this way. If it was a two wire, then you will put it in uh, an AC uh, on a meter, and then you can read it that way by getting somebody to crank the engine. Uh, me, the sensor is running off of power and ground, and two signals and the ground wire. So we just test it a little bit differently, pretty much. So we do resistance, got the specified value. So pretty much, it needs to crank that position the sensor, and that's what we're going to be replacing next. So look out for the video, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.